Hey guys, it's Anna and welcome to the first ever Follow Along Friday. Today's video is going to be on scorpions, so if you're a beginner, you're going to learn how to do a basic scorpion. And for those of you who are more intermediate or advanced, I'm also going to be showing how to get a higher scorpion or even transition from a scorpion to a needle. So let's get started. So obviously doing a scorpion requires having good flexibility in your legs, back, as well as your shoulders. So we're going to start by doing a quick stretching routine, beginning with some lunges. So we're just going to go into a basic lunge, and you can put your elbows down on the ground for a deeper stretch, and try to push the back thigh as close to the ground as you can. Grab the back leg and pull it as close to you as you can. You should be feeling a deeper stretch in your back thigh during this stretch. slide into a split and you don't necessarily have to be able to do a full split during a scorpion so it will be totally fine if you're up here just try to go as far as you can and you can even lift up your arms to help you sink lower down basically what you're doing in a scorpion. Now we're just going to move on and repeat those stretches on the other side. You don't necessarily have to do both sides to get your scorpion, but it's always best to keep both sides even. move on to pulling the back leg. to the split and again you can place your arms up in the air to try and let your legs fall closer to the ground. Okay, so now we're going to move on to stretching out our back and our shoulders, starting with going into a downward dog. 
And in this, you want to be really trying to push your shoulders to the ground. Now from here, we're going to go down into a seal stretch. And if you feel a stretch here, that's totally fine, but if not, try and arch back even further. Now we're going to do almost the same thing, except we're going to grab onto our legs. Again, if you feel a stretch here, just stay in this position, but if not, try to straighten your legs. So now we're just going to end this quick stretch by going into a child's pose to lengthen out our spine. And that's it for the stretching portion of this video, so now we're going to move on to actually doing the scorpion. So to start, you're going to stand on the front leg of your better split and place out your arm with your palms facing upwards. Then try to place your foot in your hand and pull it up to the other arm and try to straighten out your arms as much as you can. If you don't feel a stretch in your legs in the scorpion, place your arms further down your leg and then try to lock out your leg. Another way of improving the height of your scorpion is doing it while holding on to something because then you can lean into what you're holding on to, straighten it as much as possible. Then try to lift up your chest and let go of what you're holding on to. And that's it for week one of Follow Along Friday. If you didn't get your scorpion yet, then I recommend following along to the stretching portion of this video a few more times throughout the week and you should be able to achieve it. Also, one of you guys left a great idea in the comment section of my intro to this series and it was to take before and after photos of your improvement. So make sure to take a before picture now and then at week 9 take another photo so I can feature some of them in week 10. This is obviously completely optional but if you would like the chance to be featured in week 10 of Follow Along Friday then make sure to take photos throughout the way. If you haven't already make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload any new videos. I'll see you guys next Friday with a new Follow Along Friday. Bye guys!